Hello everyone. So today we're going to be taking a very quick look at this 2012 Jaguar XF. Now unfortunately I'm not able to do a full review of this car today. The main reason is because for one we're in the showroom and this is actually a big problem. This here is a diesel Jag and unfortunately we're not allowed to bring it outside today and I can't have the engine running inside either because the exhaust streams will build up and kill everyone effectively. <laughs> so basically it's just going to be a very short clip of the XF. Hopefully one day I'll get a full review of one of these cars done. I actually did a full review of a white one, but uh, I was kind of iffy about the way it turned out. But I want to redo one of these very badly someday. So if I ever do get this car outside, I will do a full review of it. So here's the key fob. Nice chrome accenting. Let's put them here. Turns on the exterior lights. Like Xenons, or LED running daylights. I'll show you them in just a moment. Has a lovely rhodium silver metallic exterior. Charcoal leather, and it also has very nice black suede in the center of the seats, which are full electrical. Jagger logo. Mirror and four electric window controls. I am a very, very big fan of the Jaguar XF, especially this uh, 2011 facelift the model. And I say 2011 because, of course, that was the year it was given the facelift treatment. But I think it's beautiful, really. A lot of people think this is actually a Ford Mondeo with a Jaguar body. And to some degree it is. The actual 2.2 diesel engine in this car is from a Mondeo. Um, that might be a bit of a turn off for some people, but... Personally, if I was buying a diesel Jag, I'd go for the 3.0-litre V6. I mean, why not? It's just going to be more powerful and still going to be economical. And also, because the car has actually de de detected the key fob, as you can see, the... Um, I'll show you again. Actually, I might have to open and close the door to do this. The ignition light there will pulse until I press it. Well, it will eventually go off itself. Now, because it can't actually turn on the engine, it means I can't show you the really cool uh, gear shifter. It can turn on the power at the most. That's about it really. But when you have the engine on, this uh, gear dial rises out and you twist it down the side between your gears. It's really, really cool. It's one thing that I love about this car. And also these uh, air vents will fold out as well. Of course they are folded out, but what I mean is normally when the car is off, they're folded in. So they blend it in with the dash, but then when you turn on the power, they come out like this. It's got a very nice multimedia interface. I've used this before, of course. Uh, Audio settings, sound balance and reset, setup, truck computer, system, all your options there. Just give you a look at them. Security of the vehicle, you can adjust the screen and everything. Um, from previous experience with this system, I can confirm it is very easy to use. It's uh, very user friendly. It has good sound quality, the station in particular is a bit uh, dodgy at the moment, we'll go to RT1. Day of Alzheimer's Tea Day, and this is Pat Kenny asking you to support your local Alzheimer's services by hosting a Tea Day event. That's that good sound quality, and you also got controls here for climate control, phone, and uh, Bluetooth, and then economy mode, and your sensor locking as well as hazard indicators. Climate control. That's on the parking brake and uh, these controls down here, this is for the snow and ice and this one is for the traction control. You press it once and that just uh, loosens up the traction control. But to turn it off you have to do unfortunately what uh, Jeremy Clarkson was showing on top here when they were filming the Sweeney. You actually do have to hold the button down for something like 10 seconds. This is going to seem like a waste of time but you'll see what I mean. Still holding it down. And there it is. Fully off. Don't know why they make you hold it down for such a long time, but there you are. That's Jaguar for you. It's got very nice uh, chrome accenting here, chrome, um, uh, sorry, chrome electronic parking brake, and there's multiple storage areas. It's got lovely satin rosewood, brushed aluminium cup holders. It's a really nice car in here. Also got a little chrome button here for the glove box, nice and padded. Also has a manual dimming interior mirror. 
and all the usual extras. Now this here is the entry level SE um, Jaguar XF and you know it comes with a decent amount of equipment on the standard. Got multifunction controls on the steering wheel and cruise control here as well as an electronic tilt and adjusting steering column. Give me every warning on under the sun there, it's saying press brake when starting. I know the fuel level is low and the bonnet is definitely not open because I've seen this earlier and it's closed properly so I don't know why that's there. And also on the back of the steering wheel you got your paddle shifter, so that one for shifting down of course the right one does shift up. I really like this car. If I was buying an XF I'd probably go for the supercharged V6 because it's a lighter engine and I think a V6 has a nice kind of... Uh, Higher pitch sound off it than the V8. I'm saying that V8 will sound epic as well. There we go. So we'll take a look at a few other features on the XF. A uh, button down here for the boot release. I think the one below it is for one of the fog lights. I think it's a rear fog light control. See what the room in the back of this thing's like. Doesn't seem too bad, legroom is quite decent. Headroom is quite nice as well. Center armrest, two integrated cup holders there. Very, very nice. And of course, rear ventilation. on them exterior lights again. Now normally I thought that would uh, illuminate the tail lights but actually on the XF it only turns on the headlights. I was um, filming a Saab 93 once and it had the same kind of button controls and it turned on the indicator lamps on the wing mirrors as well as the tail lights. Uh, but at least here it is. It's quite good. Very nice car. Some people have mixed feelings about the XF, but personally I love it. And actually here's one cool feature. If I don't close the boot the whole way, you can hear it. It actually sucks it in. It's a sucking mechanism. Um, when I first saw that I thought the doors might have it, but unfortunately only the boot has that uh, electronic closing mechanism. It's also got rear parking sensors. And as I said, all this equipment is standard on the SC model. Uh, the original XF, I believe, came out in 2008, and then in 2011, Jaguar uh, sorry, facelifted it to its uh, current design. They also added these uh, additional reflectors, I think they are. I'm not too sure. I know those are the fog lights, and you got your tail lights there, so I think those are reflectors. Uh, the only problem I can find with the SE XF is you have to have it with very small little puny alloy wheels. Now these ones are 17 inches and personally I think bigger alloys look like 18 or 19 inches really justify the styling of this car a lot more. Not small little wheels. But they are on Pirelli P7 tires so ride quality is going to be excellent. And I just love the front face of this car. Especially the face of the model. It has a certain amount of aggression to it. Very very cool. And the LED daylight, so I'll just power that one for a second. There we go. They look really cool. I believe these are called J style LEDs. It's a beautiful looking car. Also love the grill in this thing as well. And the bonnet lines. Okay, so 
that's really all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to do an another full review of this car. Uh, the last one I reviewed, I believe, I done with one of my older cameras, which was a bit lower quality. And I didn't have as much information on the XF at that time, so that review is only okay. Uh, I'm not entirely satisfied with it, but I hope to God one day I get to review another one of these. If this car ever gets in the outside parking lot, I will be back for it. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video.